it is incredible. Sometimes having the adventure of a lifetime means taking the road less traveled. But that less traveled road can be hard on your RV. So what can you do to protect it? So when we headed to Alaska, we knew that we were going to encounter some long uh, stretches of gravel road and long construction areas. Uh, and to give you an idea of the kind of damage that can occur uh, when you're driving uh, in those kinds of conditions, uh, this is a picture that was uh, recently posted by a fellow Alaskan traveler on a Facebook group showing the stone chip damage the front of his travel trailer had taken on the drive up. So one way to try to prevent that is to use a tow flap. Uh, think of them as mud flaps on steroids. And what they're designed to do is to lessen the number of stones that your tow vehicle throws up at the front of your trailer. So there's a very popular brand of tow flaps called Rock Tamers. And they attach to the shank of the trailer hitch and they go behind the truck. But our Ram has rear-facing dual exhaust that produces significant heat that could damage a rubber flap hanging right behind the exhaust outlet. Now Rock Tamer does make a heat shield you can add, but we decided to try something new, the Rockstar Toe Flap. It is heavy duty, made of aluminum and thick rubber. And the toe flaps are custom designed for each model of truck. Now on our Ram, there's just two brackets that mount underneath the truck. There's the one on this side. And it uses two bolts that already exist on the truck right from the factory. It took 10 minutes to put those brackets on and then the flap was ready to be mounted. We like the fact it mounts under the truck, not behind it. So it is unaffected by the exhaust heat. It just takes a few seconds to install and the flap can be left on the truck when the hitch is removed. And it doesn't interfere with the truck's backup sensors. Now, we drove 11,141 miles on our Alaska trip and never removed the flap from the truck. When we got home, one of the first things we did was clean and inspect the trailer. We were genuinely surprised we couldn't find a single stone chip in the fiberglass. And a couple of weeks ago, we had an unexpected experience and it really demonstrated how well the tow flap really worked. We were pulling our trailer on our way to a campground when we got stuck behind a road line painting crew. They had a follow truck that was supposed to keep you back far enough that the paint dries before anyone might inadvertently drive on it. We followed this truck for about 20 minutes, and at some point in time, the follow truck must have gotten a bit too close to the painting truck so that the paint was still wet right around the time we drove on the line. Now, the, the truck mud flap did a great job of keeping paint off the quarter panel, but have a look at how much paint got underneath it and was headed towards the trailer. We never envisioned the flap would protect from this kind of hazard, but we were grateful it did. Now we do want to caution, if you're thinking of adding any tow flap system uh, to your truck, you want to read the instruction manual closely about ground clearance. Rockstar suggests six to eight inches if the truck's not loaded, and at least three inches between the bottom of the flap and the road, so that the flap doesn't drag going over a bump and actually kick up stones. Also be aware when backing up of parking blocks or curves that could impact the flap. And so just a quick review of the Rockstar full width tow flap. First, it can be left mounted to the truck even when the hitch is removed. 
and installation and removal is fairly quick and simple. And because it mounts under the truck and not behind it, the tow flap isn't affected by exhaust heat and it doesn't block the truck's rear parking sensors. And finally, we found it to provide effective protection to the front of our trailer. As for cons, well, there weren't many, but we would say it is pretty big, so it does take up a bit of real estate in the garage when you're not using it. Well, services, drive at your own risk. Watch out for loose railroad spikes. Alrighty, here we go. Now, we're not saying everyone should run out and get a tow flap, but if you do plan on a long road trip or expect to encounter gravel roads, you'll want to protect your RV. So whether it's Rockstar, Rock Tamers, or some other brand, we do recommend a tow flap on your truck. Um, our cost was $300 and money well spent. And we just wanted to end this episode by saying that, you know, this is not a commercial for Rockstar. They're not a sponsor. Uh, they did not provide it to us free. We paid full retail for the, uh, for the tow flap. This was just something that, uh, a product that we used and we thought worked really, really well. If you uh, found this information helpful, please hit those uh, like and subscribe buttons. It helps us to grow the channel. And uh, happy camping, everybody.